you know, what's uh, what's interesting uh, is we haven't even started the the cycle, right? The tech cycle that that is blockchain technology and what I call the truth net starts in 2024. So there's been this long cycle of technological innovation from the mainframe in 54 to the microchip in 68 to the personal computer in 82 to the internet in 96 to the mobile net in 2010. So 2024 hadn't even started yet. So we're going to have a unbelievable period over the four years from 24 to 28 of innovation, of wealth creation. And you know, just for perspective, Web1, right? Cisco, Microsoft, et cetera, created 2 trillion of value. It's a big number, right? Pretty good. I mean, you know, we throw a trillion around and, and no one shudders anymore because the government uses that number. And a trillion, right? We'd have to sit here together for 31,710 years. Cisco, I mean, you guys are fun, but that's a long time. 31,710 years and spend a dollar every second. That's 1 trillion. So web one created 2 trillion web two created 5 trillion, right? Exponential growth web three spatial web. I, I think it's 15 trillion and that's a big, big, big number. So, uh, that, that excitement around essentially displacing the trust industry, right? The trust industry had a good run for 838 years banking, brokerage, accounting, auditing. That's now we're trust. trustless. We're trustless and now. now we're trustless and, and permissionless, right? I don't mm -hmm. need permission to send you value now. Yep. Right. Right. You know, the first time I tried to send money to Coinbase, so we were early investors in Coinbase. And first time I tried to send money there, Bank of America said 14 days. I'm like, what do, you, what do you mean 14 days? They're like, well, <laughs> It's our money and it's our prerogative. Didn't you read the fine print? I'm like, of course I didn't read the fine print, you idiot. Morgan Creek Capital founder and CEO Mark Yusko believes that $300 billion of capital is coming for Bitcoin because of the BlackRock Bitcoin ETF. For an asset that is only worth $700 billion currently, that would push the price exponentially higher. In his latest interview, Yusko explains why he believes the true bull cycle hasn't even begun yet. He believes that the beginning of 2024 will mark the beginning of a four-year cycle of adoption and parabolic moves upwards for crypto. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video where Yusko breaks down the launch of the Bitcoin ETF and why he believes it won't be a sell the news event. Also guys, if you want to stay most up to date on the crypto and Bitcoin world, make sure to subscribe to my daily 5-minute crypto newsletter. It gives the latest expert predictions, any breaking news, and top on-chain analysis all in a nutshell. Click the first link in the description to join over 40,000 others in becoming a better crypto investor right now. Now here's Mark Yusko on why 300 billion is coming for Bitcoin. And that's why I say we're so early. And as, yeah. and as much fun as y'all are having in, in the new Solana pump or other people are having in a meme coin, the, the core technology that is is truly transformational is just getting warmed up. And the thing that, that I don't think people really understand, every stock, every bond, every currency, every commodity, every piece of art, every bottle of fine wine, every private business, every collectible car, every everything will ultimately be a token on a ledger that, hey, well, BlackRock's here. We, we need to, to pay attention. And I think it's just going to be a, a, a lag, a delay. And I think there's still some that don't think it's actually going to get approved. That, you know, Gary's going to pull a fast one and he's not going to approve it. Look, he he tried a bunch of stuff, right? Yeah. He filed lawsuits and he, you know, ignored applications and got slapped on the wrist hard. So, you know, I... I my own personal opinion, and I've been saying this actually for two years. I said, look, the Winklevoss twins should have got approved years ago when they put in the first application because this asset needs that legitimization of institutionalization to get the, the common person to, to understand. Not everybody does the work or spends the time. You know, they're busy with their life. And, and some of the technologies actually complicated. 
But I knew in my mind that BlackRock was going to be the winner. Why? Because they run, they run that world, right? They're a $10 trillion asset manager, largest in the world. They're connected to everything along with Blackstone and Carlisle and, and all, of, all of that. And at the end of the day, they, they weren't going to approve the Winklevoss twins. They weren't going to approve. <laughs> Look, I have, I have investments in the two people who are ahead of BlackRock. 21 shares, which is Amun and Kathy Wood. So we own a piece of Amun. And Bitwise, both of those are ahead. And I sadly predict they will both get deferred one more time to yep. March. But I do believe that on January 8th, we're going to crown the king on the king's birthday, Elvis's birthday. I think <laughs> they they crown Bitcoin or BlackRock as, as the winner. And people will why? And, and how are they going to do that with just one? Like, well, because it's, they're the head of the game and BlackRock decided that this was lucrative, right? For, for years, 2017, 18, 19, 20, Larry Fink was out there. This is an index of money laundering. Yeah. Money this laundering. Yeah. Right. This is, this is, he, he, same talking points. And then he comes on TV and says, you know, you should really own some of this to protect yourselves against currency devaluation. I mean, literally, yeah. my mind was blown that he <laughs> said this. I'm like, well, yes, that's truth. And you're speaking truth and truth is an absolute defense. But the fact that he said that was, you know, blew me away. But then he came on and said, you know, people are afraid and they're seeking safe havens like gold and treasuries and Bitcoin. What? What? <laughs> So, and as Bitcoin goes, the rest of that digital asset ecosystem follows. It's like yep. I was a wrestler in high school and uh, my coach had this great line, where the head goes, the body follows. Yep. You want the person to go a certain way on the mat, just push their head that way, the rest of their body will go. And the, you know, the, the head is gonna get followed. And look, I'm super, bullish about this cycle because you got the normal having cycle. Yep. Which the having is one of the most ingenious code, I guess, I guess one of the most ingenious applications of code. That's the word I'm searching for that I've really ever seen. Yep. Because if you think about it, what does it do? Well, it ensures movement. Why is that important? Well, movement, draws activity, draws interest. If something doesn't move, people don't care. Right. And especially guys, right? We have the hunter gatherer genetic <laughs> like caveman days. And if, if it ain't moving, I can't see it. Like my wife says, you know, go get the ketchup. I open the fridge, there's no ketchup. She walks up, grabs the ketchup <laughs> bottle. If it ain't moving, I can't see it. And like if someone were walked by, I'd, I'd, I'd move, you know, that's, that's what we do. We're hunting. You gotta move the ketchup, Mark. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ketchup's gotta move or I can't see it. But, <laughs> But the thing is, if you think about why is there a cycle, greed and fear. So we had greed. So we had greed during the last cycle because you had the money coming in GBTC. So we went from 10 to 60, like almost overnight. And Sailor I want to talk about in. Barry Silbert and I want, I want to talk about DCG, but please continue. Yeah. 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 But, but we went from 10 to 60, but the fair value of the network Metcalf's law model was only 30. So greed took us to 60. So actually all the way to 69 in the second, you know, pump, anything can happen. Don't, don't yeah. get me wrong. I mean, anything yeah. can happen, but, but why? Right. So what's happening now is the normal accretion of price back to fair value. Yep. So fair value today. Okay. Tim Peterson has this great Metcalf's law model. Everyone can see it. And you know, it's like 51, 52,000 for Bitcoin. Yep. And, uh, and we're in the forties. So that's still below fair value. Well, we went, you know, with look, hurricane Sam happened and it pushed all the way down to 16, five. It was ugly. People said it was going to zero, not going to zero. And, and that was ugly. And then we started this amazing accumulation, right? Because what happens when you're that far below fair value, if fair value is 50 and the price is 15, you're going to buy it. And who's going to buy it?
people like me, investors. Investors are going to start accumulating. And an accumulation pattern is one where we have higher highs and higher lows. And it's been this beautiful accumulation pattern. Doesn't mean there won't be FUD, doesn't mean there won't be the Binance attack, that doesn't mean, you know, there'll be things that cause sell-offs. And but in each case, there's just this beautiful accumulation. So we're starting to get toward fair value at 50K. Well, then the halving comes. The halving doubles fair value because this is the, the part of the code that's just amazing. If the price doesn't move, then half the miners go out of business. That can't happen. So the yep. price adjusts upwards, which causes more people to come into the game. Now, in crypto fall, which will start next June, so we're in crypto summer right now. So from June to last June to this June uh, to next June, that's crypto summer. Then we start crypto fall. Crypto fall is the crazy parabolic, leverage, stupidity, dumb, way above fair value. How high we go this time? I don't know. If fair value is 100 sometime mid next year, could we get to 150? You know, in theory, if you look at the last two cycles, we'd, we'd get to 250 <laughs> to, you know. But the problem is there's not as much leverage this time. So the leverage is what allows you to get way above fair value. Without the leverage, it's harder. Uh, but we do have something new, which is the ETF. When the ETF is approved, and again, I, I, I called the day, you know, January 8th. When that happens, some number, 30 billion is my estimate in the, the first, you know, short period. That's 0.1%. That's 10 basis points of the 30 trillion that's available. That 30 billion on an asset that trades 8 billion a day will push the price up meaningfully. So this is the buy the rumor, buy the news. Now, people say, but it's already in the price. Nope, it's not in the price. So, <laughs> nope. Second thing, you could have people who sell the news because they think BlackRock is the one doing the front running and then they're just gonna sell to themselves. It's possible. Probably not for a lot, but it's certainly possible for some. But what's most likely is I'm light on that 10 basis points. No one's gonna say, just give me 10 basis points. They're gonna give me 1%. And that 1% is 300 billion. Now 300 billion, it ain't gonna go in all at one day. Now, do you asked about Barry Silver. The one, the one thing that I'll caveat is if, and that's capital I, capital F, GBTC doesn't get approved to convert, all that money leaves to go into BlackRock. That's the only wiggle. But but at the end of the day, 300 billion bucks is coming. Some of it's going into Bitcoin. Some of it's going to you know find its way down to other stuff. Now, that's great for short-term fun. But at the end of the day, we still need to build. And we still need the tech to work. And we still need all of the integration and the additional use cases for other businesses besides trading, right? Blockchain will do to financial services what the internet did to media and commerce, full yep. stop. Yeah. But blockchain will also revolutionize every other industry from healthcare to voting, to logistics, to anything you can imagine. And so that has to keep happening and it will I said, we're yep. just starting this path in 2024. So there's Mark Yusko shedding light on the potential seismic shift in the Bitcoin market with the anticipated influx of $300 billion in capital. His perspective on the BlackRock Bitcoin ETF and its implications for the market's future growth is not just informative, but potentially game-changing. As we've heard, the true bull cycle for Bitcoin may just be on the horizon, poised to begin in early 2024. This could mark the start of a significant adoption phase and a series of parabolic upward movements for crypto. If you're captivated by these developments and want to stay at the forefront of crypto and Bitcoin news, don't forget to subscribe to my daily 5-minute crypto newsletter. It's packed with the latest expert predictions, breaking news and top on-chain analysis, all condensed into a quick, easy-to-digest format.
Join over 40,000 others who are enhancing their crypto investment strategies by clicking the first link in the description. Anyway guys, hope you all enjoyed today's video and that provided you with some value. I'll see you all in the next one and as always, all the best.